Hi guys, welcome to Price Action Patterns video. In this video, we are going to share more light, give more reasons why we are saying the market is ready to go down or it's ready to go up. We are going to mix this together. We are going to mix this with, or we are going to use it together with candlestick patterns. Before wasting any time, let's get to it. Remember your candlestick patterns? Let's recap. Using this market. The market is going up. The market is going down. Then we see inverted hammer. We know that the market will go up. Dark cloud cover. We know that the market is ready to turn down. Then we see a piercing pattern. Market is going up. Dark cloud cover. Market going down. Pin bar. One of the most important candlestick patterns telling us the market is going up then we see bearish kicker telling us that the market is going down bullish engulfing telling us that the market is going up here is the reason why we are studying price action patterns let's take a scenario let's say that okay let's just say that you want to you are at this point then you are waiting for market to tell you that is we are waiting for market to tell you that it's ready to go down. You see bearish in, you see bearish kicker here, right? After bearish kicker, either you take you take trade here or after a confirmation candle, then the market goes against you. This is automatically a losing trade. So is the reason why we are not using candlesticks patterns alone? We want more reasons. That will tell us that the market is ready to turn and we should take a trade at that point. Okay, let's continue then. Bullish engulfing, telling us that the market is going up. Then we have tweezers, telling us the market is going down. Tweezers again, market going up. Then piercing pattern, market going down. Market went up, inverted, inverted hammer. Then we have another piercing pattern here. Market is going up. Engulfing pattern. Bearish engulfing. Telling us that the market is going down. Then we have hanging man. Or a hammer. Telling us that the market is ready to go down. Three black. No, this is not three black crows. These are three white soldiers. Sorry for that. Three white soldiers telling us that the market is going up. If you have studied and memorized, you could have noticed that these are three white soldiers, not three black crows. Okay, so taking this as an example, how do we prevent this type of trades? This type of trades, having to sell here, market will go against you. Having to sell here after confirmation, market gets go against you. That's where price action patterns shine. Let's continue. Let's see. Let's try and spot patterns here. As the market is going up, then the market went down. Then we see this inverted hammer or a pin bar telling us that the market is going up. There, they, we, there need to be something else that will confirm to us that for real market is going up. What is it? If you can look at here, what kind of a shape do you see here? You see a channel and you see a pole here. This is called a flag pattern. This is a bullish flag, a bull flag. This is a flag pattern. Then the market went down, the market went up, down, up, down, up. This pattern again is one of the patterns that we are going to learn about. One of the strongest patterns that we use. This pattern is called head and shoulders. This means we don't just buy sell when we see market going up, down, up, buy sell. There are reasons that there need to be reasons for us to take a trade at that point. Like for an example, using maybe using this engulfing pattern here at this point, we wouldn't take a trade at this point. We would wait for a trade to finish to come to this shoulder. Then based off this tweezer, we would take a trade. So, another shape that we, that we spotted here, we spotted a, a channel just like this one. But because this is, this is bigger than this, 
this is not a flag then this is a channel right descending channel market going up down up down let us try and spot again candlesticks around the crucial points then when the market let's say that channel comes from far when we see that that kind of a candlestick pattern and on an ascending channel this is a buy signal and you buy after confirmation candle what is your target your target is this point at least one is to two right then the market goes down did not reach this point comes back up to this line but it didn't take you out remember your stop loss even if you do even if you entered here now you are on a drawdown a drawdown meaning you are on a negative remember that part terminal view the yes terminal window now you are on a negative on the side of profit but you are not out of the market yet then the market comes confirms again that the price is going further down because of what engulfing engulfing candle and because of this bearish engulfing candle and this engulfing candle did not just appear any, anyway it appeared at this line meaning that this is some sort of a ceiling whereby a uh, prices it resists for it resists price to go up beyond it every time when price reaches this point it will make sure that it pushes the price to go back down so this appeared at this point this is a signal for us to to sell or to go short thereafter we went short remember you were still in the trade if you didn't see the trade here you would come and take a trade here but if you were in a trade you started you, you take you took sell here you are still on a trade and when you see this one you become convinced you become convinced that you were correct even though you were on negative then the price went down remember you were targeting this area at this point you took your profit right went down came back up with a drawdown this you wouldn't take you wouldn't have to taken the trade here unless if there's something else that you're going to learn uh, if you're trading structures and it's what we are trading you would have seen this trade as an opportunity to take but at this moment with this this has saved you right then the price went down then you got your profit three white soldiers they appeared here right when they appear they are telling you to take a trade but if you can look this is one is to one okay it's not advisable if you trade only price action patterns to take a trade here you still need to wait for something else to happen more especially for structure we don't take trade here we can we don't take um we don't take buys here we will wait we are aware if i see this if we see this we are aware that the price might break here and when the price breaks we wait for price to come and retest this line and when it retests this line that's when we take a buy extra buy sell that will happen when we learn structure but this video is dedicated to price action patterns now we are going somewhere we have learned our candlestick patterns together with candlestick patterns if we are going to, with price action patterns now we'll be able to make more predictable or um, more predictable trades that are on our side most of the time the trade wow well, this trade will be on our side yes there will be losses but because we have many reasons to enter buy or sell then the probability will be the, will, the favor will be on our side then we saw a flag and then we saw head and shoulder inverted head and shoulder here but other traders still trading price action patterns what they saw they saw a channel again here it's still the same as long as they're telling us the same thing this is what we call a correlation even though you are seeing another thing and i'm seeing another thing but as long as they mean one thing that means a trade okay remember when i said i was not going to trade this we were not going to trade this sorry this engulfing candle we would wait to come break now it broken it broke it broke the channel and then the channel is broken and then this tweezer 
this tweezer was wrong to trade but it was right to tell us that the structure the price i mean to say is, is going back down it's going back down way actually the price is going back down to the line to give us the retest one of our golden rules we don't trade anything when we don't have a retest we we'll wanna have a retest then it retested at this point this is when we are we are certain to take a trade based off these tweezers then we take a trade coming back down you would see as i can see i see another head and shoulder here here's a shoulder here's a head here's a shoulder then the neckline as you will learn about head and shoulder here's the neckline break retest dark cloud cover or a pin bar but dark cloud cover then what happens short you see price action patterns they are telling us more mixing price action patterns with candlestick patterns you can only trade this alone and make income out of this by the way okay let's go and see what kind of patterns we are going to learn on this course we have three different types of patterns price action patterns i mean in their categories we have patterns that they tell us that the market is ready to reverse reversal patterns that will also tell us that the market is still going still moving on its trend whether up or down continuation patterns and we have both reversal and continuation patterns on reversal patterns what kind of a patterns are we, do we expect when we expect the market when we say the market is going to change direction we expect to see head and shoulder head and shoulder it's a reversal pattern okay we expect to see double tops and bottoms and double bottoms those are also reversal patterns we expect to see triple tops and triple bottoms these are reversal patterns when we see these shapes if we are on an uptrend market when we see this shape now that we can tell that the price when you see it in shoulder now that we can make a speculation that the price will go down this doesn't mean every time when you see this they will go down there are still other things that we need to put on a mix in order for us to make sense out of these things right continuation patterns we have triangles normal triangles that you know like symmetrical triangle when you spot a symmetrical triangle on an uptrend you know that the market was just the rest thing is it will go up it will continue with its tra its trend right ascending triangle descending triangle number two we've got flags we've got bull flag and bear flag number three we have pennants bull pennant and, and bear pennant sorry then we've we have rectangles normal rectangles that you know then we have the patterns that they will both tell us that they will both reverse they will both be reversal signals or continuation signals hence they are both reversal and continuation patterns we have wedges it's time to go to your kitchen we have wedge pattern falling wedge rising wedge remember potato wedge then we have channels ascending channel and descending channel to make this thing maybe clear and simple to you to keep this thing simple now we will go to one of our platform trading view and draw a, try to explain their characteristics then when we go to break to chart breaking down videos that's when we'll spot them from the chart because if we explain this we open a chart and try to spot this by explaining remember when we said that the chart your chart won't be as perfect as this one's the educational part so you need to understand the theory part first then when we go to practical then you can use your knowledge try and understand or try to make sense to the practical ones so from this video let's go to part two of it where we are going to analyze or we are going to explain these patterns by just drawing them you take profit and your stop loss okay see you in part two